President Obama, Mitt Romney, when he was running, they both called New Orleans, what's happening in New Orleans around charter schools, you know, a model for the rest of the country. Do you agree with that? Yes or no. The, the no part is, we need to be clear, there is nothing like New Orleans in the rest of the country. There was no other place where the district was wiped out. Right. Okay, so that number one. Number two, the level of financial resources that have gone into New Orleans, both uh, public resources and, and private. private resources. Right. There's no comparable level anywhere else in the, you know, in the country. The third thing is that for, a, a, the, for the period when, that, when Katrina happened and afterwards, some of the decisions that were made and some of the focus that took place, it has created the, quote, system that we now have. And there are very positive things that have happened over these 10 years that you cannot deny. But what it, is, what it has also done is it, cre it has created among certain sectors of that community a tremendous amount of animosity right. that worries me in terms of the ability of this to go forward. People have to see that there's some people who in, in New Orleans who see the education reform stuff as a larger part of black power, black disempowerment, right. you, know, you know, politically. And, and, and so we, got, we have a lot of work to do, I think, over the next 10 years and you know, after all of the hoopla, to say, yes, here are the positive things that happen. But if we're gonna build on those positive things, we have got to find a way to make sure that people feel more empowered in this process. And I think that there are certain decision makers right now in New Orleans where that is not an important issue for them. It's, it's just not, and, and, and I worry a lot about that. So what can be done? What, you know, what, what are the next 10 years? What should the next 10 years look like in New Orleans? I, I, I think we have to work with uh, black people in New Orleans who support ed reform, but who have some ideas about how to do it differently. There's a group of people there who I don't think there is any working with them because they believe that the whole ed reform thing was not, is not doing what it said. And they're not interested in, you know, well, how do we build on positives, right? right? That's not what they're interested in. But there is a larger group of people there who I think is willing to have that discussion. And, and, and I've been trying to involve some of those people in a discussion not just about this, this, continue to say this has been done to us and not with us, but to say, okay, if it's going to be different over the next 10 years, what concrete ideas do you have that can be implemented that would change that narrative? And, and I'm hoping that we're going to be able to create not just the conversation, but some very specific actions that would, would, would move us in a different direction over the next 10 years.